Yo people, I'm Sean from the Net Ninja and welcome to your seventh HTML Basics tutorial, Structuring Headings. Alright, now in the last lesson we quickly covered kind of what headings were, how we format them and uh, different types of text. In this tutorial I want to focus in on the headings a little bit more and how we structure them in a web page to give the web page a kind of logical flow, okay, a bit like a table of contents. Uh, so we're going to use a range of different headings to do that. We'll just have a quick recap on what we did last time. And last time we said that heading tags range from H1, I actually said to H5 last time, that was my mistake, they range to H6, so I'm sorry about that. Um, and we said that we give sections of a web page an appropriate heading depending on its hierarchy in the document. So an important part, an important section, we might give a H1. Uh, a less important section, we can give anything between H2 and 6, depending on where it sits in the document. So I'm going to jump back over to brackets to demonstrate how we can kind of structure these within our web page. OK, here I am back in brackets, and I've got the same file up from last time. Um, I have added a little bit more content. We've still got the two lines here at the top, but I've got a section here uh, for the types of fish we sell. That's got a couple of subsections, the freshwater fish and the saltwater fish. Then I've got an about us section here. And then finally, a contact us section at the bottom. And this as well has got subsections here, phone, email, or by carrier pigeon, if you want to get in touch that way. So the reason I've done this is to demonstrate that we can give each section different headings. But for now, I've given them all H1s. Every single heading in this document has got a H1. This one here, this one here, this one here, etc., etc. So you wouldn't normally do this. I'm just going to uh, do this to demonstrate a point. And I'm going to open this up right now in a browser. OK, so we can see that we've got all our different headings. And they're all H1s, so they look exactly the same. Now, I'm looking at this website and I'm thinking, well, I don't know which headings are subheadings. I don't know which content belongs where. It's all kind of like a mishmash. There's no logical structure to this. Uh, there's no kind of weight or importance on certain areas of the website. And I suppose we could go into the CSS and we could change the look of certain H1s. So for example, these freshwater and saltwater fish headings, we can make them look smaller so that they look like subheadings to the types of fish we sell. And likewise down here with the contact methods. Now. Yeah, we could do that, but when a screen reader or a site crawler from Google or another search engine comes onto our website, they're not going to care at all about the CSS. All they care about is looking at the docu the HTML document and finding the structure that way. And they're going to see a bunch of H1s. They're going to be like, well, I don't know what is important here. So we want to do this ourselves in the HTML document. So we'll jump back over now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go through this document and we're going to change some of the headings. Now, I think the top one here, welcome to my smelly fish shop, that is absolutely fine as a H1 because that's the title to the whole page. So we're going to keep that as a H1. This section here, types of fish we sell, I would say that is a subsection of the whole page, a subtitle of the H1 at the top. So I'm going to change this to H2. And likewise for this freshwater fish heading here, I'd say this was a subheading of types of fish we sell. So I'll change that to a H3. So we're moving down the hierarchy of the H tags here. And I'm doing the same for the saltwater fish. This has the same weight as the freshwater fish. They are both subheadings of the H2 here. Uh, the about us section, we're going to change that to a H2 because I think it's a subheading of this overall H1 here. So H2, and the same for the contact us, we'll change that to a H2. And these ones underneath, by phone, email, or by carrier pigeon, we're going to change these to H3s because they're all subheadings of the contact us heading. And if we had subheadings to these sections, then we'd maybe use H4, and it kind of goes down the hierarchy that way, H3, H4, H5, H6. So let's save this, and we'll look again in the browser. 
And now we can see that the browser has looked at the HTML document and it said, okay, well, I can see that your document now is structured correctly. You've got all these different hierarchy of H1s, H2s, and H3s, and I'm going to display that hierarchy to the user. So now the user can understand what content is where. Now we can see we've got the main H1 um, heading here, still unchanged. Then this H2, slightly smaller, we can now tell that this is a subheading of this. It's not as important. H2 here for about us, H2 for contact us, and then some subheadings here, H3s, which are subsections of the contact us area. All right, so, I mean, that kind of explains how we logically structure H tags. Um, I think what we'll do now is move on to the next lesson, leave H tags behind, and start focusing on images. So I'll see you guys then.